Hey guys, Jay Roly here one more time for us to take a look at something a little different. You know, I'm a big classified guy, but I've been tempted by these Super 7 Ultimates for a little while. I want to take a sneak peek at one of them, starting with Duke, and we're going to do a little comparison with the classified. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, so we've taken it out of this box. I love that it comes in like a shipper box. It's actually nice. It looks nice and sturdy. Hopefully, you've got this extra protection. And it's, you know, it's slightly decorative with G.I. Joe and Duke written right on it. And here we have the package. So, I'm going to take a look inside. All right, guys, before we even go further into the packaging, I just want to start by saying that I personally was not a big fan of these before uh so let me let me recap a bit for those who don't necessarily follow any of the joe groups or follow any of the comments that i've made in the past so when we're when these were announced my first thought was excitement i'm like wow they look nice uh cartoon accurate makes sense but then the price point hmm, i wasn't too sure so for a while i decided no thank you then i held one of these so let's start with the first look which is the packaging so before you even get to see the figure it comes in these nice cases and i don't know if you guys can catch uh, i don't know if you can capture that uh, marco antonio yes it's kind of glossy and stuff but it's there's like a distressed worn out look like a, a worn out feel to the to the packaging it's a good idea now i don't know if it's because they knew they were going to have a whole bunch of picky collectors that are going to be looking at every uh, you know corner of the box and this makes any imperfection just kind of you know merge together um or it's just a nice you know army worn look whatever it is i like it so let's take a look at what duke looks like inside this packaging so i don't know how much you can see because there might be reflections from the plastic but we're going to take a better look very soon but first i wanted you guys to see how even in the packaging it looks nice. Personally, I think that I'd want to just keep these like, like this. They're a nice display piece. I'm not an inbox collector. I think you guys know I've opened just about every classified I own. And I've opened up a lot of my other figures. But this is one that looks really nice. Sort of like my Zartan 31 Master of the Skies. I can't picture a way of displaying it better than it already is displayed. In the packaging so this could be a case of that again i don't know if you can see very well with the reflections and so forth but duke looks good you've got the multiple heads you've got the multiple accessories but you don't even get to see all the accessories so definitely uh, something that's worth opening a quick look at the back it's a little uh dim uh, not very high contrast in terms of coloring so you might not see it very well on video, but in person you can see there's an image of Duke and some wording and stuff. And it's just cool stuff. As 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 fans, we love this stuff. When we were kids, we used to love the file card. I don't know about you guys, but I used to sit there and just read the file card over and over. And, and it's these little details that make it fun. Just like his name here at the bottom and what looks like a dog tag. Duke, first sergeant. Now, let's take a look inside. Let's take him out. I can hear his voice in my head. I can hear Duke's voice in my head from the cartoon. Now, I think you guys can take a better look now. Sorry about the microphone. Might might be getting some weird reverbs or something. But the way he looks here is just really cartoon Duke. He just looks right. The colors are right. Everything is right about him. You just want to take him out and hold him and pose him. And you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I like the background there, the blast effect there. I think it'll be cool to hold the, to have it as a background. 
all right guys so here he is in hand he feels good he feels solid it's definitely a different feel from the classified i think it's the fact that it's seven inch it somehow feels bigger bulkier um the plastic too is seems harder uh, i'm not sure i can explain it but i guess it gives it that feel of when you had those uh, uh three and three quarter inch uh, figures of the 80s and the the mobility actually is similar in the sense that uh, a bit like the modern ones uh, it's not an o-ring obviously but uh, obviously it's not as uh, what's the word i'm looking for it doesn't have as much posability as the classified um, not as many points of articulation so first things first um, I want to mention my good buddy Mark Tremblay uh, he sells these star stands that are used for multiple six inch figures and I find that they're a very good fit for the super seven I think the um, not many of the super seven fit in different in different things um, Snake eyes seem to have a different configuration of, of peg hole. And I don't know if you can take a look there. It almost looks like the two peg holes are actually a different size. So having these ones with multiple sizes in one, uh, you're going to find one that, that fits. Oh, there we go. He's on. <laughs> so again, a quick look at duke i think you'll agree with me that that's definitely duke if you look at his backpack it is very reminiscent of the 80s figure almost exactly the same actually and quick comparison here with the classified figure as you can see the figure is obviously a little smaller so from six inch to seven inch there seems to be a relatively good difference right because it's not just the height just overall the bulk of the figure is different now classified backpack also recalls to the 80s one this one definitely looks more like it maybe a little less realistic but definitely uh, like the 80s but look at this straps shoulder straps so rather than having the peg hole like the classified which honestly i'm okay with that's what my figures had in the uh, in the 80s he actually has shoulder straps for us to put it on so when duke puts on his backpack he's literally putting on his backpack huh. a lot easier. okay that was easier than i thought <laughs> all right guys i don't know if you guys can see but i got his backpack on and it was actually a little easier than I thought. I'll admit, I was scared. I don't want to break those straps. Um, I have no idea what the customer service is like if you break something, but um, I don't want to find out just yet. So backpack is on, and, and it fit relatively well. Now, for his hands, he seems to have fists. So uh, sorry for the little wet marks. As you guys know, I like to warm up my fingers by putting them in warm water. Uh, so he's still dripping a little bit so you'll need to change to one of the hands and i think you guys can see here we've got multiple sets of hands and there's a pair that i've already taken out and this looks like the pair that'll hold the weapons i love that he comes with the cartoon style rifle so let's see how easy that slips in there <laughs> Ooh, that's some hard plastic You'll definitely have to warm this up. Hey guys, so I don't want to take these all out necessarily, but I want to at least show them to you so that you guys are aware of everything that that he comes with. So obviously he has his helmet, which I like, and actually maybe that I'll put on in a few seconds. Got two different heads, the screaming head, which I'm not big on, but I can see how if you're going to pose him, you might want to do that. That classic 80s figure rifle walkie-talkie, some kind of radio communicator, the binoculars, also from the 80s figure, and these extra hands. So I like that you, you get a combination. You get the cartoon look, but you also have the accessories of 80s look. So it's really a nostalgia figure. When it comes to the nostalgia, this is the one. Because when you compare it again here with the classified, 
which I'll show you now, the classified is definitely is definitely a modern take. So it's a nice figure. It looks great. And it's a great take on Duke, but it's definitely not the Duke we grew up with. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. This, on the other hand, is definitely 80s Duke. Now, let me uh, put the helmet on. Very easy to put on. And again, that gives him more of an 80s look. But, you know, that's, that's Duke for some people. Without the helmet, definitely cartoon Duke. Um, I'm impressed. I like it. So, to wrap it up, guys, I think it's a very nice figure. There's definitely a lot more detail that I could show, a lot more things that I could say. But if you're a fan of G.I. Joe and you're a fan of the G.I. Joe cartoon, this is definitely a nice figure. I think most guys will agree. Once you have him in your hand, this is definitely Duke. And it's the Duke of our childhood, and he looks great. I think Super 7 had the right idea by saying this is a collectible. This is not an action figure. This is not a toy. This is definitely a collectible. And if you're a collector, this is a nice item to have. Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Yo, Joe.